In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to marbleize paper. Marbleized paper was often used um, on the inside cover of books. You're going to get some shaving cream onto your plate or your mat. You don't want to use too much um, so that we don't run out, first of all, but also you don't really need that much. You just basically need enough to spread uh, evenly. And I'm using an old gift card in order to just spread it. But you can use anything like uh, a card, uh, like heavy card stock, cardboard. Um, although those things get do get wet after a while. Now I find that my card is a little bit messy so with one finger and one finger only I'm going to swipe that off and it and then I'm just going to get it onto my mat and put my card aside. I do have a paper towel handy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to with a straw we're going to just tap into our paint close it up and then we're going to tap the paint so that it comes off of our straw. And this might take a little bit of time, but you don't want to be too, too, um, you just want to be self-controlled about it because you don't want the paint to go onto your clothes or um, get your surface, the rest of your surface dirty. You just want to make sure that you're kind of low here close to your surface but not touching your surface and you're just tapping that paint so that it falls right off okay so I've got a few colors here you can wipe your straw clean in between colors to help keep them nice and, and clean and what we're using today is liquid watercolor this liquid watercolor is pretty concentrated and so it's a little bit thick and that's why it doesn't want to just come off of my straw so once you've got a good amount of coverage here on your surface what you're going to do is with the end of your brush you're going to grab I guess you're just going to touch the paint drops and drag them so that they are pulling down and they're going to begin to create just a, like a different kind of design. What we're going for is basically swirls. Um, hence the name marbleizing. And for this, uh, there are different tools. There are actual tools that look just like combs and they have different like I guess different arms if you want to call it that or different fingers that will drag these simultaneously down and over but um, you can just do them gently with the tip of your brush you can sometimes wipe that clean now you want to be careful that you just want to stay on the very top of this surface you don't want to dig too deep into the shaving cream and you're just either swirling or just pulling and dragging in different directions so that you create a nice interesting design you don't want it to be too white if your shaving cream if your surface right here is too white that means that that's just going to remain the color of your paper so you do want to create a nice interesting sort of pattern here and take your time you can even add a little bit more paint if you see that you need it all right and you don't want to over blend so you do have to find a moment where you're you just say all right that's enough because you don't want these colors to start blending. You do want to see these colors in their true form. So I find that at this point I'm ready to start marbleizing. Now when you do press down you will find sometimes that it creates air pockets that don't want to settle down so you do have to press into it gently 
So I'm just going to let it down. Once it's down, I'm not going to pick it back up. I'm just going to make sure that I'm pressing down. And I'm not going to be in a rush to pick it up either. I'm going to make sure that each area, each part of this paper that fits on my mat is pressing down evenly, okay? And when I'm ready, it's going to look a little bit messy. We'll see. Okay, when I pick it up, this is what I see. Oh, no! But I'm going to grab another card that is clean, and I'm going to swipe it off in one direction. Swipe it off in one direction. Swipe it off in one direction. So as you can see, it transferred pretty nicely. If you have edges that um, didn't get saturation of color, you can find a colorful area and press it in and see if that helps out. Okay, now when you are swiping this off, you do want to make sure that you keep the shaving cream that you swipe off in one general area that'll keep your surface clean. And then of course you can um, come back and wipe it off when you're done. So um, now what I would do, if I have enough shaving cream, I can just go ahead and add some more colors here. and Or, or if I had enough paint, I can dip it down again. But as I didn't use that much shaving cream, I can just come back in and add some more and start the process all over again and do the other side of my paper until I'm satisfied. And you do want to make sure that you get some coverage on the edges there. So it'll take you a few times. It'll, it might take you some practice, but at least try to do two of these. 